Yeah, initially I was a little homesick, but then you quickly get into the groove and it's really hectic. So you sort of get used to it very quickly. And right now I I find it difficult to get time to talk to all my friends back in India or sometimes even parents. They tell me that why you why have you not been calling us and stuff. So yeah, initially I think it'll be difficult, but you will get used to it within I think fifteen twenty days. And yeah, after one month you'll be totally into your studies and job search or whatever it is that you're doing. So, Managing food, yeah, initially it was really hard. Please learn cooking, otherwise it'll be a huge problem out here. The kind of food we ate in the beginning was horrible. We cooked really badly, but then yeah, gradually we learned how to cook. All my three roommates, we we weren't really good cooks, but I think now we cook well enough to fill our stomach. So yeah, uh, till the time you are there at home, learn cooking. It's really helpful. Otherwise, there'll be a lot of problems. The culture here is quite different I would say you have to do a lot of small talk with people you like for example every time you get on the bus you say hi to the driver and every time you get off you say thank you for the thank you for your ride or anything like something like that and you need to be very proactive in talking to people professors are really friendly so you don't have to call them so every time and you, when you talk with them it, it should be more like a conversation and it should just flow like you're talking to your friend it's it's very different out here so it, it took me some time to get used to all these things and i would say i'm still learning i'm not really good at that but it's good to have friends american friends who are really because it's in their culture they naturally are very good at talking that way so yeah and and that thing will really help you even in your networking because it's like the conversation should flow and only that's when they feel that you're comfortable with them so this is how it works I would recommend that you reach the university at least at least 10 days prior 15 days is a good amount because it takes some time getting used to 10 to 15 days is a good idea because you really need to understand what's going on visit the college explore new areas and try to make friends reach out to people orientation was quite helpful uh, you have a general college orientation your we, we had an mn orientation which was mostly about job search recruiting networking and all that stuff and no they don't really help with the bank account opening and you can't get an ssn number until you have an on campus job or something like that uh, but bank account opening is not a really tough task you can ask for help from anyone and they'll help you or you can just go to the bank and they'll just ask you for your cornell id and it's it's a very easy process so and if you miss the orientation it's it's not a very big deal but i'd recommend that you attend it it's mostly a lot of resources and it's the first chance of networking with your professors and you shouldn't really miss that i would say we had no orientation about ras and tas and on campus jobs mostly for ms mn students it's like they don't really expect that you will be doing ras and tas but obviously a lot of students do ras and tas i didn't really get the time to do it but i i do have a couple of friends who are doing tas and they are, they are also working in in a re- restaurant so yeah that is something you need to do all by yourself a uh, professor there is nothing about that in the orientation but you will come to know once you come here it's really easy to get information on what's happening and you just you just need to talk to people and be proactive as to where to apply for on campus jobs